Is, do you think? All right, chat. We got another video for y'all boys today. This video looked interesting to me. It popped up on my timeline, so I was like, "Oh yeah, bro, we gotta react to this." So we got red pill guy tries to find love on a blind date. Now I have no idea what that means, bro. I don't know red pill, blue pill. I don't know what none of this shit means, bro. I think you're either a man or you're not, bro. I don't give a fuck about the soft guy era or none of that shit, bro. I don't know what none of that shit means, bro. I think all the shit's retarded. I'm an alpha male, a beta. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, bro. I think it's all retarded. You either have masculine qualities or you don't, bro. It's that simple, bro. You either a man or you're not, bro. <sighs> Y'all try to overcomplicate everything, bro. And by y'all, you know what I'm talking about, bro. The months dedicated to those type of people. <laughs> the fact that they have a, a month is crazy, bro. Why don't they have a straight month, bro? Is it because it's the normality? Exactly, bro. Crazy, bro. They got a month for their perversion. It's crazy to think about. God damn. Had to get me a quick drink chat. But yeah, I don't know what to expect from this chat. And I really don't have that much to say. So without further ado, let's get into it, y'all boys. I think Halloween is your um, one pass to dress like a... I didn't. Or do you just do that every day? Oh my God. My name's Emmy, I'm from New Hampshire, and I'm 21. I'm Oscar Coleman, I'm 22 years old, and I'm from right here in Long, South Carolina. What's one interesting thing about you? One interesting thing about me is I have a dog. My dog's name is Penny, and she's a brat. One interesting thing about me is I've lived in five different states in my whole lifetime. She gets to see me a lot and likes to put balls underneath the dresser where I can't find them and then scream when she can't get them. How would you describe yourself? I would describe myself as hilarious, fun, hardworking, always down for a good time. I would describe myself <laughs> to be funny, a little bit annoying. So why should someone date you? Like I said, I'm hilarious, super good looking. I plan on being very wealthy in the future. Somebody should date me because I'm down to do anything. Not like that. By the time I'm 30, I'm Whoa! Time out. There are certain things you're not doing, bro. Uh-uh. Nah, hell nah. <laughs> hell nah. What you mean by that, bro? Nah, hell nah. Because I've seen a lot of these shows, bro, and I know the type of shit. Nah, uh-uh. Nah, hell nah. You ain't nah, uh-uh. I'm going to have $30 million in the bank. Like, go anywhere at any time, do anything at any time. Not in a weird way. And how much are you willing to Stop spend the on cow. the deal? I am willing to spend. Stop the cap right now. <laughs> Stop the cap. How much is he willing to spend? Let's see. And $100 a month on a woman. <laughs> so why are you here? I'm here because I'm single. I'm looking for a very submissive woman and someone that will meet my every need at any given time. I Damn. I'm looking for someone who's nice for things. <laughs> My needs are absolute obedience. I am going to Damn. require hot food at the end of the day. And down to have fun. A nice back massage when I'm done eating. So what is one conspiracy theory that you have? One conspiracy theory I have is, is the government isn't real. One conspiracy theory I have is we have not been to the moon. Damn. My ideal date would be dinner, preferably with somebody tall, blonde, or brown hair that's nice and can hold a conversation. What would you have on that dinner? Like food-wise? Yep. Sushi. I can't do sushi. Why? What we could do. Bro, no. No. Horrible idea, bro. What type of motherfucker told you that you should eat raw fish, bro? That doesn't even sound edible, bro. No, bro, we're not doing sushi, bro. Like, something else, seriously, bro. Sushi, no. Uh-uh. 
My ideal date would be we could take my truck out down some where I ain't nobody else. Um, we could go shoot some skeet and then we could get one of those little grills. Get a little grill put on the back of the truck, cook some steaks, make some burgers maybe. Mm, I've shot skeet in my life once or twice. Yeah, are you any good at it? No. All right, you got a gun? I had a 22, not anymore. That'll work. Why don't you got a <laughs> Because it's at home. Uh, uh, can't be super stupid. Uh, you gotta kind of know what you're doing. Um, don't point the gun at me. And <laughs> be able to take a joke. Because my jokes are kind of personal. <laughs> Facts! I could take a joke. But I am a little stupid. Stop the cap right now. No, you cannot take a joke. Uh-uh. You can definitely not take a joke. And neither can I, so... We're in the same boat, bro. I take everything literal, bro. And if I feel disrespected, ain't no telling what I'm finna do. <laughs> bro, if it's even borderline, don't say it. Just don't say it at all, bro. Keep it in your head. <laughs> and I'm not gonna say you're stupid, bro, but... You are blonde. What can I say, bro? <laughs> Both of my friends say it every day. Damn it. All right, we'll work on it. <laughs> so let me ask you, how would you feel about hooking up on the first date? How I feel about hooking up on the first date, it depends on how the date went, obviously, who the person is. If I'm attracted to the person, I wouldn't be on the date in the first place if I wasn't. I don't know. It depends where you're at and what you're doing. But, I mean, it's whatever. It don't matter to me. Typically, no. Stop the cab right now! <laughs> Stop the cab right now! Have you ever? No. Have you ever? Stop the cab right now! Both of y'all have. Stop the cab right now! <laughs> Stop the cab right now! No. Stop the cab! <laughs> My initial thoughts are that he's country. Oh, I'm getting from the vibe. Definitely hunts or fishes, something along those lines. My initial thoughts so far, she's honest about her stupidity, which I like, I can respect that. I like to fish, so that's a good thing. What do you think about his voice so far? I think his voice is good so far. Her voice sounds pretty good. Nothing crazy, nothing too high pitch or anything. There's a lot in the voice. Sometimes the voice can be super annoying. It's not annoying. <laughs> and sometimes it'll just ruin the whole thing, but. I think we're good on the voice. Type shit. What are you looking forward to learning about her on the date? I'm looking forward to learning some of her views on some of the jokes I make throughout the whole thing. I guess <laughs> looking forward to getting to know him more. If she'll get mad, if she's sensitive, which obviously everybody's gonna be sensitive at a certain point, but. What vibes are you getting from him other than he's country? I think he's nice, and I think we'll get along because he's sarcastic too. How, what did you think about her, like, her not hooking up on the first date? How I felt about her not hooking up on the first date was it's good, was respectable, she has Stop some self dignity. I can't tell if he goes out or not, so I wanna see if he goes out. Seems like. You go out, sweetheart. Stop the cab right now. <laughs> Stop the cab right now. You worried about the wrong thing, bro. Like she's down to go have some fun. A lot of girls are scared of guns, which I don't like. What you mean, bro? How long have you been single and what? She's supposed to be scared of guns, bro. If she's not, bro, then there's a problem. If she's down to go shoot, then that's one thing, bro, but. The initial thought of somebody who's never been near anything close to a firearm, bro, they're supposed to be a little bit scared of it, bro. If they're not, then <laughs> they might be a borderline psychopath, bro. What happened with your last ex? I've been single for about a year and a half now, and I broke up with my ex-girlfriend because she was... <laughs> Damn! Jesus. And I was not going to stand for that. W man. I've been single for two years. Kind of broke up with me for no reason, but it wasn't working out to begin with. Did he break up with you over text or in person? In person. Oh. Not sober. Dang. That sucks. <laughs> so did you break up and then go to school or? No, we go to school together. Oh, nice. Do you see him around? No. What year in school are you? A senior. You're a senior. Okay. So you met him in school? 
No, we went to high school. Uh, uh, <laughs> I got it smart. He knows what that means, bro. Ah, he knows what that means. It. Holy shit. <laughs> I don't think it's a good idea to date while you're in college at all. Fox! <laughs> he already knew, bro. I told you, bro. I saw the look in his face. He already knew, bro. He already knew what time it was. <laughs> he already knew what because time it was. what happens is... Either or, they'll get to college and see that there's a lot more options out there than they saw in high school, and they'll want to explore their options like any normal person would do, you know? Yeah, I guess. Unless you're like an exceptional person, obviously. I think I'm so exceptional. What makes you different from any other girl around here? Oh, um, well, I'm blonde like every other girl. Why, hello, Carl Drinker. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that. that just took away some of the surprise. Oh, well, it's still a surprise. <laughs> so what were some fun things that y'all did? I bought a dog while we were together. Guess that was fun. Did he not like dogs? No, he loved my dogs. Do you still have the dog or does he have it? I have the dog. I bought the dog. What kind of dog it's you my have? dog. A Boston Terrier. No shit, we have one of those. Except ours ate a bunch of chocolate and now has like Down syndrome or something. <laughs> I swear, Yo. I swear. How old is it? God damn. I think he's like two or something. Hmm. Mine's too. Oh, Damn, maybe this works out like our, our dogs. Our dogs can date. <laughs> Wouldn't that be incest? <laughs> no. How would it be incest? Low key, that might. Though, they would just love each other. Give me your best pickup line. Oh, shit. Bro. Yeah, I usually say, want to be my dog's dad. Uh, you need to say some crazy shit to make some. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> All my pickup lines are highly inappropriate, bro. I don't use pickup lines, but if I was, bro, they're highly inappropriate. <laughs> my go-to is, um, I can usually be like, nice tits, or, <laughs> um. That's not good. <laughs> see, it's funny. No normal girl is gonna see that and be like, like any other guy. You know what I'm saying? I th would think that, and I would probably not answer. Yeah, but you'd think about it. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> Or I'd, say the something, cap. I'd say something in Spanish that they'd have to Google translate it. You're fluent in Spanish? No, no, no. I'm getting there. We work with a bunch of, <laughs> we work with a bunch of Mexicans. Do you have a job? I'm employed, but I'm not working right now. What do you do? I'm a server. Oh, why aren't you working? Because it's off season. We're not busy. So <clears throat> if you guys were in a committed relationship, what would you consider Ooh. cheating? I would consider cheating having any guy friends Facts. other than me. Because if you think about Facts. it, I should be the only guy you're talking Facts. to. Really. Your dad or your mom doesn't have other guy friends that they talk to or hang out Facts. with or Snapchat on a daily basis. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Yeah, Snapchatting, guy Facts. friends, going out. Facts. Uh, acting like a Facts. Like a, you, know, you know what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Um, going out's not cheating. Going out, seeking it. It depends on where you're going out to. If she wants to, let's say, go out with her girlfriends, right? And also, make sure the board of directors are good for you as a human being. Make sure the board of directors are good. But going back to what I was saying, if you go out with the board of directors, as well as her, bro, and you're going to like a restaurant or something, that's cool. If you're going to a club or a place that involves the nightlife, that's a whole different story attention from other men but going out so with, in a sense it is okay it's seeking validation but i have two of my best friends that are girls and we go out every weekend is that cheating just with them and they both have <laughs> his face said it all bro i don't even know what he's gonna say but his face said it all bro it boy, may not they be both physically have boyfriends. Cheating. Well, that's great. They're, I mean, that's awesome for them. It may not be physically cheating in the physical sense, but you know in the back of your head why you're going there. You're not going there just to have fun with your friends and drink because you could do that in the house. The only reason I would go out back whenever I did that, to get And that's the only reason y'all go out. Y'all, see, girls don't go out to get guys. They go out to put themselves in a position to be hit on. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not their role. But yeah, what, what, what about you? <laughs> He's spitting. Uh, I consider cheating if you hook up with somebody else or 
Yeah, but or what, actively what about, flirting with another girl. There you go. What about place. the what about the whole road to get to the hookup? That's all cheating too. Yeah, but not going out to the bar with your buddies. Well, guys and girls are two different things, really. If you think about it, you you got to understand that there is a big difference. A lock that can be opened by many keys is a poor lock. Would you agree? I guess. But a key that can open a lot of locks would be a really good key worth some money, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There you go. But what else? What else you got? I just said, if you hook up with somebody. So just hooking up with somebody? Yeah, but I mean, yeah, if you were flirting with somebody else. What about if I wore a crazy Halloween outfit? I mean, what are you going to wear? I don't know. Some <laughs> tight sweatpants, <laughs> tank top. I feel a little freaked out. Yeah, there you go. But See? I wasn't saying is, Do you think Halloween is your um, one pass to dress like a... I didn't. Or do you just do that every day? <laughs> what? Uh, yeah. I'm just, it's a simple question. I'm not accusing you. I didn't asking. dress like a s at all this year for Halloween. What were you? Avatar. Did you paint yourself blue? <laughs> yes. Me and my two friends painted ourselves blue. We had stuff covering us, like uh, shorts and a shirt on. I mean, like, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Bro, I'm not going to lie. Country guys are so funny, bro, because they're so straight to the point and they don't take that bullshit. They might not say anything, bro, but the facial expressions say everything, bro. I don't even consider myself country, bro, but I'll say a lot on my face without saying anything, bro. Like, <laughs> I be knowing. <laughs> I be knowing. Crazy. Right, this isn't going to work. <laughs> oh, Jesus. If you guys were dating and gone to a big fight, how would you go about resolving it? If we were in a fight, I usually would resolve it by not answering for a while because I think it's better to have space before talking because I think it blows up quicker. Don't you think you should get it off your chest while it's like in the heat of the moment? No. You know what I'm saying? Well, if you had. Any I'll say something, you would, I'll you say something to... really mean. You would be, yeah, well, if you had self-control, you'd be able to control yourself. Right. Like, if you were but if you made me that mad, it's not going to come out nice at first. So normally I need to sit for a little bit on it. What would you sit? Would you sit with your girls and be like, oh my God, he's such a... No, I'd sit with my dog in my bed and say, this kid's an asshole. Stop the cap right now. <laughs> Stop the cap, bro. No, you would not. <laughs> you might do that initially, but you're going to call up or you're going to text the group chat. He's such an asshole. He won't let me go up to the club and get other guys' attention and validation while I'm dressed in a provocative manner. He's so fucking mean and controlling. <laughs> hmm. Hell yeah. Um, if we got into a big fight... I would resolve it by, first of all, it probably wouldn't be my fault, <laughs> but if it was, I'd try and gaslight you first and think you were a problem, and then I would, if that didn't work, then I'd probably just be like, yeah, whatever. I hate being gaslit. Why? We could do, we could do, we could, we could do, because it just fires me up. No, we could do a friendly, like, gaslighting There's battle. There's no See, friendly wins, way to gaslight. Better. Yeah, there is. What's one example of when you gaslit a girl? <laughs> you could be like, I'm sorry you feel that way. Um, another good one is whenever she comes at you. Wait, what the fuck? Oops. <laughs> for, like, Never mind. She talks to her friends. She's like, none of my friends' boyfriends, Tristan. And then you're like, well, I mean, I see where your priorities are. It's obvious that. You trust your friends and you care about your friends more than you do us working out. And since you don't Yo! want to fight for that, then that's all right. You can Yo! Go ahead and God damn! Jesus. What about you? What's your best gaslight? I, I'm not trying to gaslight my boyfriend. Well, I know women do try. Succeed yeah, or not stop is the another cow. story. But what is, yeah. what is your I, I am not women. I'm me. I do not gaslight my boyfriend if I have one. All right, that's a great attribute. What's a red flag you see in a guy? A red flag I see is clingy. All right, I agree with that because a lot of the times I have a really busy schedule. I work, I work 24-7. What?
a red flag in a guy is if he's clingy. Huh? A lot. Doing what? Elaborate. I do landscaping. I work a lot and I'm not gonna be able to text you back all the time because I'm doing something, you know what I'm saying? So if somebody that gets mad about that, that's obviously gonna be annoying. But at the same time, you can't just be a ghost, you know what I'm saying? No, I don't typically get mad at that unless it's like a day. Then I'm gonna be a little pissed off. What does your normal day consist of? Going to class, coming home, hanging out for a little bit, and then I usually hang out with my friends. Nothing crazy. Unless it's the weekend, then go out, I guess. Oh yeah, of course. My day is, I appreciate you asking. Um, my day <laughs> is, I wake up, go to the gym. He do, do bro. Cardio, work till six, 6.30, whenever. Um, then go back to the gym and do an actual lift. Go home, uh, bully my little brother, eat, and then go to sleep. Why are you bullying your little brother? Because <laughs> they'll probably call me on some dumb shit throughout the day, and I'll have to yell at him. And on weekends, sometimes <laughs> we're free, but sometimes sometimes we have to work too, so. so Wait, so you there. do go out on the weekends or you don't? No, oh shit, last time I went out was Halloween. Where'd you go? I went back to my hometown in North Carolina. That's where you I'm came at. here my from North at. Carolina? Yeah. Holy, where? No, 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 no. I live here. Oh. Uh, one red flag is just one, I would have to say, just attention seeking, you know what I'm saying? Like in dressing in a provocative manner is probably the number one red flag. Dressing in a provocative manner. All the actions she does, her Instagram, how she just how she carries herself. You can tell, you can smell it on you can see it and you can smell it on girls. Well, my Instagram's definitely like that. Damn. Yep. Kinda stinks over here. If I look good, I'm gonna post it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But there's there's Absolutely. I'm the same way. I, if I think I look good, I'll post it too. But there's also good ways that you can post where you don't look like a You know what I'm saying? So it's Facts. a picture of a baby sure. too. There's just ways that girls take it, and you know what I'm talking about. There's different ways that you can do different things, just like there's dip, she like, knows, different bro. ways to skin a cat. Girls know, bro. Like, yeah, they <laughs> fucking know, bro. Isn't She's playing that? dumb, bro. No. She I'm fucking knows, bro. Cats. No, it's a saying. It's like there's a million ways to skin a cat. So there's a million ways you can post an, an Instagram yeah. picture in your bathing suit. You too. can post pictures. I can think of a lot. You use different <laughs> styles to do certain things. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. What's two things you hate about your past relationship? Two things I do hate is she would try and say, like, funny little things that would piss me off that she thought were funny, but she knew would piss me off and see if I would get mad in front of her friends. So that pissed me off. And oh, nah. then, yeah, acting like <laughs> Oh my God. What do you think? All right, oh, my opinion. Can't wait for this. <laughs> oh, my opinion can be a multitude of different things. You can be an over the phone that doesn't actually like go through with it and sleep with people, but you're still you know what I'm saying? <laughs> or you can be Max, the low key one that nobody would suspect, but it's actually Those like, are the crazy. most dangerous, bro. Kind of Those are the most crazy. dangerous, bro. Yeah, to how they low key and crazy. Like she doesn't present herself as a but like you know, you'd be like She tries to play the classy Damn. type, but she's not classy. I never thought that. You know what I'm saying? No, not really. <laughs> well, I don't know how to explain it to you. Okay. Two things I hate about my past relationships is I don't like being with somebody constantly all the time and having to text them all the time. Another thing, I feel like I was kind of gaslit in past relationships, so I'd prefer that not happen again. What's your definition of In a man, not, or a woman. In a man, both. I feel like for guys that are they're always sneaky, but like at the same time, you know they're like hooking up with a bunch of different girls. Like, How do you know? You can just tell by the way they act when they walk up to you and they're like, I can get you. Like, they know, like, they think they know that they can hook up with you, but they can't. It could just be confidence. No, it's cockiness. There's a fine line. There's what about not... women? What do you think? What do you think? I know you girls sit around and like, I'm a girl's girl. I'm not about to talk about girls. They can do what they want. All right. When and how did you lose your virginity? Jesus. <laughs> Yo, god damn, these questions are getting personal. Hold up. <laughs> Yo, bro, I'm not gonna lie. Certain questions during this, I'm not answering. Like, I'm not answering this shit. Nah, hell nah. 
Um, I lost my virginity when I was 15. But also at the same time, bro, uh, I haven't lost mine, so, you know. At one of my friend's house in a guest bedroom. Was it your boyfriend at the time? Or? Yeah, it was my boyfriend at the time. Damn, 15. Yep. Start them young. Um, Jesus! I didn't think it was that bad. I always say if, if your body counts more than your age, then you have a serious problem. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> that's a good rule. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, so men can have as many bodies. Like I said, back to the key. That's um, crime. The key argument, but with the keys. no, I do. No, I do agree. There's yes, obviously a guy if he has a crazy amount is yeah. But I think it's I think it's more important when girls have lower than guys <clears throat> for sure. So when did you lose your virginity? Facts. Uh, that's true. I lost my virginity when I was 17. I was not that young. Damn. Um, oh. My it God. was just normal. I went over to one of my friends' house, saw this girl, and then we got really faced. And yeah, mm, it's romantic. Seventeen <laughs> still young. Fifteen's even younger. So seventeen is old, Zinga. bro. For that, I'm not. I gonna can lie. send it to another fifteen-year-old, so it doesn't matter. Still <laughs> That's crazy. true. So what is your body count, and does body count matter to you? My body count is 19. I got the cap, bro. I got the cap. I know she's either not going to answer the question or it's going to be below six. Come on, chat. I've done enough of these, bro. <laughs> I've done enough of these, bro. Come on. Let's hear it. What do you say? 19? It's probably like 25. Not going to lie, but <laughs> it's probably like 25. And yes, body count matters to me because it says a lot about a person. My body it counts does. 11, and no, it doesn't matter. God damn, bro. She might have actually told the truth, bro, which is crazy, bro. That might be the first woman that I've ever met that's told the truth about that. I think realistically, she probably has in the 15 range, but I thought she was definitely going to say like four, six, something like that. And it definitely matters. It 100% matters, bro, especially if you're a girl. It 100% matters. It matters if you're a guy too, but it doesn't have as much of a hold. Matter unless See, it's like excessively high. Why do all girls say it doesn't matter though? Because it obviously matters. To it matters. Point. There's yeah, got to be matters, a point where you're like, all right, nah. That's what I'm saying. If it's like. So where's your cutoff point when you're like? Damn, I'd I say like. Down. Forty for 40? a guy. What? Forty? God damn, bitch! <laughs> Yo, if you're twenty and your body counts twenty, that's a body a year. Okay, you said. 40, bro. So unless you're 40 years old, bro, you're picking up what? Nah, bro. Okay, what about a girl? Girls can do what they want. They can have as many bodies as they say. What about you? What's your matter. personal beliefs on that? I would like to not exceed 25 before I get married. When do you plan on getting married? I don't. 25? Bro. You don't need to exceed 15. You don't even need to exceed 10. 25? God damn. Oh, no. I'm not even anywhere close to a relationship, so I can't tell. Hopefully before I'm 30. Yeah, see, I want to get rich before I get married. That's a good idea. Get rich and get all my ducks in a row, mm -hmm. and then I can think about getting married. But then still, that might be when I'm 30, and... My girl, my wife at the time, it better not have more than 20 bodies. Okay. Not that. More than 10 bodies. I have one more. Facts. <laughs> or I'm out. <laughs> yes, you better be smart. On a scale from 1 to 10, how freaky are you? And what's uh, the freakiest thing you've ever done in the bedroom? Of 1 to 10, how freaky am I? I would say I'm down for normal, bro. Whatever the normal standard is, bro. I fuck, bro. I don't freak. That shit's weird, bro. Nah, hell nah. Really, whatever. But as long as it's not some crazy shit, obviously. Keep it, like, <laughs> really, 
Obviously, no, <laughs> no submissive stuff. I'm not going <laughs> to. Freakiest thing I've ever done is I had to use olive oil one time as a uh, lubricant. <laughs> that's so no, that's crazy. It's not. Yeah, that's that's so foul. Olive oil? It's that's all foul. natural. It doesn't Yo, matter. That's so virgin. foul. Not for you or her. Unless it was a boy. What's the question? Scale of one to ten? <clears throat> on a scale of one to ten, how freaky are you? On a scale of one to ten, I'd say like a six. <laughs> Cap. You have to say it. That took a lot for me to say that. Okay, well, it's nothing compared to that. Oh, what is it? I don't think I've done anything that crazy. Cap. Like, that's not normal. Would Cap. You? Boring. Would you or not? I guess it depends. See, my thing the is, you, the girl has to initiate it, because if the guy does it, it's weird. Would you agree with that? No. Why? I mean, why can't a boy initiate something? Because if the boy says some outlandish shit, the girl's <laughs> going to be like, oh my god. Well, same thing with a yeah. girl. A girl can say something no. like that. No, no, nah, hell no. But they were Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. What the fuck? Yes, they would, bro. What the fuck? He's a five, but he's rich and famous. He's a ten. <laughs> That's a big, big plus. Rich and famous. Okay. You're a gold digger. Yeah. No. But if he's famous, I can get famous. What would you get off of being famous? Money. How would you get money? Being famous from my rich and famous husband. All right. Uh, You're telling me you wouldn't date a rich and famous girl if you had the opportunity? Hell no. No. I ass. I'm going to be. No, absolutely not, bro. It's the opposite, bro. It's the opposite, bro. No. Most definitely not. We need two rich and two famous to handle two of us. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I don't really so know. So if you if become I'm rich and famous, what are you gonna put your wife in a closet so she can't be famous neither? No, she'd be famous for being my wife. That's so. That makes me mad. Why does that? Hold on, hold on. Why does that make you mad? Yeah. I what the fuck? Get rich and famous. Yeah. So. You're welcome what if you have a pretty wife? She can't wife. be famous too. No, I'm saying she can't be famous. Just she's famous. Okay, for being but my she wife. doesn't have to be famous in your shadow. Well, then she should have made That's her cocky. own. That's cocky. Cocky. She should cast her own. No, shadow. it's not. She's a nine, but has an OnlyFans. Uh, zero. Zero. Yep. Zero. <laughs> that? Is that misogynistic of me? Yeah, if a girl wants to make money that way, she wants to make oh, money. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, uh-uh. Once you become a sex worker, bro, that's the worst thing you could do as a girl, bro. The worst thing you could do as a girl, bro. Whether you're a stripper, an OnlyFans, demon, uh... Uh, Instagram thought, whatever you do, bro, that's in that sex work realm, bro, your value drops significantly. Significantly. Like, multiple numbers significant. Compromise your morals for money? Depend how broke I was. Mm, Jesus. I if I needed money to live and pay my rent, yeah. I mean, you don't have to show your face and stuff like that. Your name doesn't have to be okay, on it. Okay, but that doesn't change anything. <laughs> Yeah, bro, that's crazy. No. Never? No. What if Cap. I had OnlyFans and I was, like, really rich on it? Live your life, girl. No, if I'm me, a guy. Yeah, I know. What if I, I had a really rich, a great, huge thing, and I was like, yo, you want to make some money real as quick? As long as it's just on OnlyFans and I don't have to see it on your Instagram, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Um, he's a 10 but doesn't have a job. He's a 5. Because if he doesn't have a job, he wouldn't be rich and famous. Well, no, then I would have to pay for things, and that's just... Yeah, and then you have to start an OnlyFans and compromise your No, ones. I have a job, buddy. Yeah, but you aren't working right now. Yeah, that doesn't so mean I don't have bills. a savings. Okay. The don't get mad. I'm just asking. Like bro, she's a girl, bro. Women can never be broke. It's impossible for a woman to be broke, bro. I'm just going to keep it real. Especially if you're even just a seven, bro. You can be a seven, bro. There's no reason you should be broke as a girl, bro. Because you have multiple guys in your DMs right now willing to pay all type of shit, bro. The electric bill, the fucking, your phone bill, d d free dates, free attention, free validation. You got all type of things, bro. It's impossible to be broke if you're even just a seven as a woman, bro. It just is, bro. Now, below that, you might struggle a little bit. But if you're a 7 and up, bro, you're going to be good, bro.
even a six, you could still probably get away with it. Like I'm just gonna pop up one day on OnlyFans. No, I never said that. I was. I bet you would be you. looking too. You're the one that. You're the one making. No, nah, you're the one that's I don't getting think I yourself would. into this hole because you're the one defending it. No, I'm not. I'm just saying. If you'd a be girl like, wants to do that, not. I would she find can. Way. But I also, but if I did, you'd be looking at it. Well, yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> I would no. never pay for that. That's crazy. Yeah, that is no, crazy. No. no, I do. No, that's crazy. I know, and that's crazy. So mine is pretty simple. <laughs> what the fuck? I have a yeah. little measurement thing to tell her height because she's given off like a lot of energy, like she's angry. So that's why she probably has a little. Energy. <laughs> um, I put her Max. in like kind of like a dress, but I. Bro, the ones that be mad angry be short as hell, bro. I swear to God, bro, they be short than a motherfucker. And there's no problem with that. I'm just telling you, bro. If you hear a girl over the phone, she's angry as hell. I can guarantee nine times out of ten, bro, she's short, bro. I'm just going to keep it real with you. Which, as a woman, is a good thing. It's not a bad thing to be short. Made sure her stomach was completely exposed. <laughs> and <laughs> I put a big frowning face. Gave him long hair because he looks like he has longer hair. Not like Fade doesn't have that. There's no way. He has no eyes. Couldn't figure it out. I just um, not put any eyes on me. Because I can't uh, see you for your worth or whatever. We're gonna punch him through the wall. <laughs> All right, go into detail. You don't really have anything going on. I didn't give you a height. But the way Any you clothes? act is a way a five foot two man would act. Damn it. Just a little you bit. Me. You got me. No, I am Because you're snarky. What? Is that a spider? Oh my god. That's so lame. I think she could have done way more. Um, I think honestly. this is the terrible representation of <laughs> I mean, they say I am not for her. His for drawing her. is hilarious. And if that's supposed to be my dog, it looks like a rat. Well, I had three seconds to draw the dog. She's way more beautiful than that. Yeah, I know. What do you think about your outfit? I hate it. Why? Ah, it's it's something she would wear, one, though. Stop one the gap. shoe is bigger than the other one. I also had like and five it, seconds to do I that. I look like one of the Flintstones. I thought it was pretty good for the, uh, a lot of time I had. I think you could have done a little bit better. My forehead's definitely not that big. <laughs> That's crazy. My final thoughts are she's cocky as I think she's got a lot of growing up to do, man. I think that she could be a really good person if she was just guided in the right direction, you know what I'm saying? But I think she's getting really mad. Definitely from <laughs> the South. Well, I already said that, but I think he's a little bit of a redneck, a blue collar. She can't get her feelings hurt really easy. I don't know, we'll see. I kind of like the sarcasm. But I think we could have some great laughs and some probably some great times if she just lighten up a little bit. How do you feel of the progression of the day went? I think the first part of the day was awkward, but then like it progressively got funnier and funnier. So that was good. I felt like from start to finish, it progressively got uh, funnier Freakier. for me and more <laughs> for her. He made me laugh a lot. I have to laugh or I'm bored. Feeling anger is better than feeling nothing at all, so. Do, do you feel like he would be a loyal boyfriend? I think he would be a loyal boyfriend, but I think he'd be a little crazy. Do you think she's acting this way because it's in a different environment normally? She's probably acting this way because she's getting attacked, obviously, I'm coming at her. If it was somewhere else, like at a bar or something, she could easily just walk away, but this she has to kind of face it and fight back, which makes it fun. Like I would have to update what I'm doing a lot if I was with my friends or somewhere. I'm probably torn with her a little bit. You got to, really. And send pictures of what I'm wearing before I go out, probably. I do need a woman that can put up with my bullshit to an extent, but I don't really come with a lot of bullshit. I personally don't want to be putting up with a lot of bullshit. Type I have shit. To put up with plenty throughout the day. How important are looks to you versus personality? I'd say they're slightly more important, but they're equal for the most part. Looks okay. are important, right. absolutely, but you can't be something good to look at with uh, just nothing going on in your head. Like I've talked to someone new before that was 100% my type, but he was a gotta have some some brains you gotta still have to be able to have a conversation if something bad happens you gotta be able to work out i mean he's funny and that's my type and i like that he's sarcastic but 
I guess we'll see when we see him. Would you consider a second date with her? I think I would consider a second date because I think it would be hilarious. I would consider it. We'll see. But also, if it goes on too far, obviously it's not going to be fun. So to some point, we're just going to have to maybe part our separate ways. Damn. So how do you guys feel the date went? I think it went fantastic. I had a great time. It did go good. I was laughing, so that's good. Yeah. Just laughing anything? along with cussing. <laughs> Is there anything you guys want to know about each other before you see each other? Where are you originally from? Originally New Hampshire. Okay. How old are you? 21. Okay. How old are you? 22. Okay, that's good. I was worried you were going to stick me here with an 18-year-old. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> you can take your blindfolds up in three, two, one. Hey, oh, how's it going? Good, how are you? You look good. Thanks, so do you. I heard the boots. Damn. I'm not four foot. No, yeah, but you're good and short. Five, six. I like them short. And we're matching, so. We are matching. I just need boots. Did you actually think I was short? No. You okay. just acted like it's short. So what do you guys think about each other? I think she's a good looking girl. Yeah, he's good looking. He's tall. That's good. So what do we think? It's second date or no? We can go on a second date. What are you what are you guys doing? Got it! I'm gonna go skate shooting. Okay. Me with a gun. Great idea. <laughs> <laughs> she said me with a pew pew. Great idea. Yeah, just don't point it at me, bro. <laughs> the fact you even have to say that is crazy, bro. But like, you know, even people that own things like that, right? Most of them don't even have, you know, just typical common sense, bro. Like, they just fucking point it at themselves or point it at other people. If you're not prepared to shoot it at the thing you're pointing it at, bro, don't fucking point it at that. <laughs> I'm just going to keep it real, man. That was a pretty funny video, though, nonetheless, bro. She was capping a little bit, and he was capping, too. There was a couple times where he was capping, but, you know, that's what comes with it, bro. And I really don't have that much to say, so I'm going to catch y'all boys in the next one.